Okay, welcome again, my friends, and uh, I want to present to you a short, but a short, 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 short uh, idea about what is uh, going on on the adrenal receptors. As we have seen that the adrenal receptors, these are receptors that are found in the adrenergic system of the autonomic nervous system in the group of the sympathetic nervous system. It means these are uh, adrenal receptors. They can use either of the three uh, neurotransmitters. We have a uh, noradrenaline, which sometimes is called also norepinephrine. Also, the, can it either be uh, an epinephrine or a neurotransmitter can be a dopamine. And these uh, three trans neurotransmitters are responsible for the activation of these uh, adrenal receptors. And uh, in the adrenal receptors, they are divided into uh, into two types of receptors uh, which we have alpha adrenal receptors and beta al beta adrenal uh, adrenal receptors and these alpha and beta adrenal receptors have subgroup but which in alpha adrenal receptors we have alpha 1 and alpha 2 and uh, in beta we have beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 and also we have another an extra which is called the dopamine d1 which are uh, this is the one that you use uh, a dopamine as a neurotransmitters but uh, uh, the effect of the sympathetic nervous system can depend on which the adrenal receptors is activated let's start on, on, on looking on this table we see here we have uh, we have uh, one table that uh, we have we will start on looking if the the effect uh, uh, if the effect occur on the receptor alpha 1 alpha 1 adrenal receptors and this uh, the location of the tissue affected it means the affected tissues uh, in which alpha 1 is located is a uh, smooth muscles and the glands smooth muscle and the glands and the ones these adrenal receptors alpha alpha 1 are, are activated they also activate the G protein which is called GQ and uh, this GQ protein and uh, the uh, the protein that is and the copper to the uh, phosphorylase C, which uh, will go and uh, and uh, lies the phosphoenostide, phosphoenostide into you know you know you know phosphate you know triphosphate and diacetyl glycerol. Uh, these are act as the second messenger. Once this is activated, they will lies the calcium concentration, and the lies of calcium concentration with will, will what cause contraction and secretion so if you got an a scenario or a question that is talking about the contraction and the secretion uh, uh, in the case of adrenal receptor it means that there is activation of uh, alpha 1 adrenal receptors but it, what if what happened when the effect of the of the of the neurotransmitter take place on alpha 2 on alpha 2 it means that this uh, is loc it's located on the nerve endings and uh, some of the smooth muscles. But uh, this, uh, but uh, the effect on these uh, alpha two adrenal receptors will lead to the activation of uh, G protein, which is called GI. GI I means inhibitor. It means so the activation of this pathway will lead to inhibitor action. How inhibitor action will occur? Will occur by by interacting by uh, reducing the cyclic um the cyclic adenosine monophosphate which is a second messenger therefore the reduction of this it means the transmitter release along the nerve will decrease and therefore this will cause what is called a contraction of the of the muscles and uh, uh, and the, it means it will cause the 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 decrease in a Transmitter release in the nerve will cause uh, also the contraction of these uh, muscles. But uh, let's uh, look on uh, also on beta adrenal receptors. We have seen that the beta adrenal receptors are divided into three groups. We have beta one, beta two, and beta three. Therefore, what uh, happens when the effect of uh, a new transmitter acts on beta one? <coughs> and uh, the location of beta 1 uh, is found in the cardiac muscles and the juxtaglomerular apparatus of the kidneys. And uh, the activation 
of these uh, receptors uh, is coupled to the G protein called GS. GS. And once this GS uh, G protein is activated, it will lead to the increase in cyclic uh, adenosine monophosphate. Therefore, this what will cause is the increase in heart rate. Will cause increase in heart rate, increase in force of contraction of heart, and increase in learning release. Why increase in learning release? Because these uh, juxtaglomerular patterns are concerned with the release of learning. So once uh, beta one is activated, therefore the juxtaglomerular apparatus will release the learning in high amount. And uh, another is what will happen if an effect occur on beta two? The beta two uh, adrenal receptors are found in the smooth muscles, liver, and the heart. And the heart. Also, the activation of these parts of these effector tissues will uh, lead to the effect of the coupled G protein which is called GS therefore activation of the GS will cause the increase in cyclic uh, adenosine monophosphate but here the effect will be uh, by, C, by C versa because this will cause the relax of the smooth muscles the relax of the smooth muscles uh, the relax of the smooth muscles and the, 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 the increase in glycogenolysis it means the increase in the breakdown of the glycogen into into glucose and also it's increased heart rate and the force of contraction of the heart so you see that the beta 1 and the beta 2 activation in the case of the heart uh, on the case of the heart uh, heart activities is, is the same because here you will increase heart rate and the, Will increase the force of contraction of the heart, and also in if the beta two activation occur, also the heart rate will increase. Even the force of contraction will increase. But what hap uh, also what happened on when the there is a, the effect on the beta three adrenal receptors? These uh, beta three adrenal receptors are located in the adipose cells. Adipose cells these are cells that uh, that are found in the areas where there is high fat, and uh, the Activation of this pathway will lead to the to the effect on the copper protein, which is GS, GS. And uh, therefore, the this will cause the increase in cyclic uh, adenosine monophosphate, and later will cause the lies in the lipolysis. So, what to know is that once the effect occur in the GS, in the GS G protein, what is occur will be the the lies in the uh, cyclic monophosphate uh, functions and this usually the lies in uh, this uh, cyclic monophosphate is associated with uh, the contraction with the speed of heart rate it means uh, it speeds up the metabolic rate but in exception in the beta 2 which uh, we see that there will be a, a relax of the small muscles you see yeah but uh, for the case of beta 3 we have seen that uh, there will be a lies in lipolysis yes let's look about the last one which is a dopamine uh, we know that the, do the dopamine is also an uh, an uh, an uh, an uh, is a, a neurotransmitter that is considered to be found in the adrenergic uh, adrenergic receptors this dopamine act on the smooth muscles always act on the smooth muscles and once uh, these uh, receptors are activated will lead to the activation of the coupled G protein which is GS as you know the the activation of uh, GS G protein will always lead to the increase in cyclic uh, adenosine monophosphate CAMP but here what is also interesting as we have no, we have we have seen that uh, the the lies of cyclic are uh, uh, adenosine monophosphate will always speed the even if the heart rate or contraction contraction or the force of contraction or metabolic rate will lies but here it means we have to expect that if the the heart rate will lies also and the contraction occurs so even if in the smooth muscle what will happen is 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 a contraction but what is inversely here once this is activated will cause the relax of renal vascular muscles the relax of renal vascular muscles uh, thanks for listening and uh, for looking our video 
and uh, I advise uh, and I I can advise that you can uh, subscribe in order to get more of our videos because we provide what are the essentials you someone have to know in this uh, school in this uh, life of medicine you know yes sexy and we come again